In this video, we'll review how to use your flex mic. This is the flex mic and it's really easy to use. You have one button to turn it on and off, and that same button is also your mute button. Flex mic hangs comfortably around your neck with its magnetic lanyard. You'll want to adjust it to the proper length using the adjusters on the side so the top of the microphone sits just below your collarbone. That puts it in the proper location so that whether you're in the corner of the room or turning facing the whiteboard, your voice is clearly heard throughout the classroom. Here's the good part. When the flex mic is on, you no longer need to project and use your teacher voice. Just speak in soft conversational tones. Once you are used to wearing the flex mic, you'll begin to experience a calmer classroom and students become more engaged and focused. You'll also notice that at the end of the day, you will have more energy and less vocal strain. The first time you use your flex mic, it should be on the charger ready for use. The charging indicator light is on the top right side of the microphone. It will turn green after a full night's charge, indicating the battery is ready. A red light indicates it is still charging. This blue mic status light indicates the microphone is powered on. It will stay on during charging. Remove the microphone from the charger. You'll see that the charging light turns off and the blue mic status light turns red. This indicates the microphone is on, but muted. The flex mic automatically mutes when you remove it so it stays quiet while you put it on. When you have the flex mic around your neck and positioned properly, go ahead and tap the power mute button. You'll notice the mic status light will turn blue indicating the audio is live. At this point, you should hear your voice coming through the classroom speaker. Now we need to make sure the volume is set to an optimum level. A common mistake is to set the volume level too high. Louder volumes actually cause students to become fatigued and can result in feedback when you walk near the speaker. Optimum volume is at a level where you can just barely hear your own voice. It's best to have another person in the room to test the volume, but generally out of the box, the system volume is going to be close to the appropriate level. If you do need to turn the volume up or down slightly, you can press the volume up down arrows on the side of the flex mic. If the volume is still too high or low, you may need to adjust the volume level at the system or media connector. Once the volume is set, you generally don't need to adjust it throughout the day. At this point, you just begin teaching as normal. If you want to have a private conversation, step out into the hallway, or stop using the flex mic for any reason, just tap the mute button. The light will turn red and your microphone is muted. There is generally not a need to fully power the microphone off. The battery will hold its charge all day, up to five hours. But if you wish to do so, press and hold the power mute button for about two seconds and you will see the mic status light go off. To turn it back on, Hold the power button for a couple of seconds and you will see the blue power light flashing. A flashing light means the microphone is linking to the sound system. After several seconds, it will turn solid to indicate it's linked up and ready for operation. It is important to note that a flex mic is uniquely paired to the single sound system. You cannot, for example, take your flex mic next door and broadcast through that sound system. At the end of the day, you will need to return your flex mic to the cradle charger for nightly charging. As I mentioned, a battery will last a full day, up to five hours, but will need to be charged each night. A full charge cycle takes five to 10 hours. Place your flex mic in the charger, making sure the microphone is facing forward. You'll see that the charging indicator light will turn red. In the morning when you return, your microphone will be fully charged and the charging light will be green. Also, if during operation, the charging light begins blinking red, that means your battery charge is running low. Generally, there'll still be 20 to 30 minutes of operation before your battery is fully depleted. If you have any questions, please visit our website or call our toll-free number. We have a live customer service team available to help. Thank you for taking the time to watch this video and for using your Lightspeed system.